Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into the In and On channel for our karaoke systems. I'm Ray with Arpeg Electronics, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the uh, table and floor stand that comes with one of our systems. So it's really, really simple. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to get three pieces here. You're going to get the top shell, you're going to get the base, and you're going to get the neck. So on the floor stand version, this base will be extra heavy. They'll have extra metal blocks over here to add weight so that it's more stable on the floor. On the table one, it's just gonna be nice and light and we save on shipping. So first of all, you're gonna get four screws that are gonna be right inside these holes. You're gonna remove these screws out first, okay? Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the neck with the angled side pointing up, the curved side pointing down. You're gonna just pop it right into the, into the base unit. There's gonna be four holes that go through. Just pop your screws in. Don't be worried about it if the fit is a little snug the first time. Once in a while, uh, the metal is a little tight, but that's fine, because we're gonna seal it all up with these tight screws. Okay. And that's pretty much it, we're almost done. Now the next thing to do is you're gonna have the mounting plate that's gonna go on the back of your touchscreen. You must put this on the touchscreen first, then put it onto the, onto the neck. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your shell on, because you won't have access to it after the plate's on. Put your shell through, okay. Mount your, uh, screw in with the four holes, your mounting bracket onto your touchscreen run the wires through the hole and through the center of the neck, and you're gonna mount it this way. Make sure that the pointy side, the angled side, is pointing downwards when you mount it to your touchscreen. Otherwise, your touchscreen is gonna be upside down on this, and then you're gonna have to take it off and rotate it and do it again. All right, so here, it's really simple. You have another four screws that come pre-installed. You wanna just take those out, If you lose these screws, don't worry about it. They're available at any hardware shop or 99 cent store. They're, they're not like special screws or anything like that. And we're gonna just slide it right into the, into the bracket. Again, if this is a little tight because of shipping or whatever, don't worry about it. Just wiggle it in one side first and then the other. And that's about it. You're just gonna put in your four screws to hold it into place and you're good to go. Make sure you run your wires through carefully. Okay. I'm just gonna do two here to show you to save some time. All right. And on the back, you're gonna notice that when you run your cables through, you're gonna have a little uh, groove for all your wires to come out. And I've put some at, uh, adhesive foam pads. You can get these online for like a dollar just to give it some more grip so that on a glossy table, I won't, have, uh, I won't be sliding around. That's completely optional. You can even put like furniture sliders if, if you do want it to slide around. Or optionally, this is actually this, um, a VESA compatible pattern mount. So if you, don't, if you choose not to get one of our table stands or floor stands, you can actually wall mount this or use any uh, monitor arm. You just might have to put those uh, nylon spacers so that the wires have a, room, have a room to go through. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Uh, just comment on the section below if you guys have any questions about this. But this will be the same process for any of our uh, floor stands or table stands. One thing to note is that if you're getting an all-in-one model where the touchscreen contains the system and the screen itself, uh, the one that's showing right over there, you cannot use a floor stand. It's too heavy. Even, even with the extra weighted bottom plate, the odds are you're gonna pr tilt it right over and it's gonna just fall, fall down. That's gonna be a disaster. So we only uh, include a table stand with the all-in-one model, but that makes it a lot more portable. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Comment below if you have any questions.